Hi, you guys. So welcome to our next wellness activity, which is glow-in-the-dark mason jars. Uh, here are a couple supplies that you will need. Um, you'll have glow-in-the-dark paint, paintbrush, water, mason jar, um, and also a Halloween templates. So here are some Halloween clip art, um, and I will provide a packet for you. Um, which you can draw on on the outside of the mason jar um, and here when you click here there's a Google Docs of templates um, so at this moment if you can pick out your Halloween template and then we will start drawing all right so the templates that you should have got look like this and um, for me I will possibly pick out this one because my kids like Jack um, and I might go ahead and do this one too that says Happy Halloween on the other side of my mason jar. Now once you have um, your one or two picked out, uh, you want to take your mason jar and I like to open this up, leave the lid um, where you can find it. I also have stickers too if you don't want to draw. Um, you can also take the stickers and these uh, little guys have eyes where you can take them out which is really cool because you can put the glow-in-the-dark paint on the inside of the eyes so that it'll glow in the dark. All right, so it's easier to handle when you uh, open the lid so you can hold the top. What I will be doing is if some of you guys don't know how to draw, that's okay. I've provided like a carbon paper for you guys and to figure out um, which side goes onto the jar, you will use your two fingers and you are going you rub it like this and whichever comes out black on your finger is the side that will go on to the jar okay so I'm gonna go ahead and tape that if you need to cut it that's up to you that's fine I'm gonna tape it on each side okay then I'm gonna take my I'm gonna go ahead and take um, my template and put it right over the carbon paper and take that too. Uh, now you can actually take a uh, pencil um, or a Mandela um, tool to etch this out. So I'm just going to outline it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and take off the tape. Once you take off the tape, you'll see that it's very light on the jar, but that's okay. And I would take a permanent marker. You can also use paint too if you want to, but um, to make this process go a little faster, um, I'm just going to go ahead and use a permanent marker. And um, as you can see, I put a white piece of paper on the back uh, just so that I can see it a little better. And you can color it in using the permanent marker um, or using the paint. So either one.
All right, so once you have your Halloween colored, um, what you want to do is here are three glow in the dark paint um, and a Q-tip and a um, paintbrush. So you can use either one, however you want to do it. You can always do the Q-tips um, depending on um, if you can reach in a jar or you can always use the paintbrush. Um, and there's different ways you can do this. When you're painting, you're going to paint on the inside. Okay. So what I might do is I might go ahead and do the green and do a strip of green at the bottom. Or um, I might go ahead and do the whole entire bottom green. However you want to do it. I've seen folks who put in little dots on the inside <clears throat> and I will also demonstrate that too so that's how it would look when I paint the bottom I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the green at the bottom And I've also seen it where <clears throat> you can actually um, paint half of the inside of the jar one color and the other half a different color. So however um, you want to do it, it's still going to look out really cool um, once you are done. All right, so I painted the bottom, the inside, the bottom of it. Let's see if I can get a white. Okay. Now I'm going to start putting dots inside. And you can always use the tip of your paintbrush or the end of your paintbrush, either one. And I'm just going to go ahead and start putting dots on the inside. 